Hi, I'm going to take a look at Survival Fountain of Youth today. It's a game I've put quite a few hours into and uh, really enjoyed playing, so I figured I'd do a playthrough on this. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to skip the intro and tutorial. Now, if it's your first time playing, it's probably worth um, going through the intro and tutorial because it gives you some of the backstory and some of the basics of um, how the game works, but we're going to skip that. Survival mode, we're going to go tourist, which are the default assumptions, tourists and normal, confirm and go. So we start in this cutscene where um, presumably the ship goes um, onto rocks or something. So we wake up in this room and there's nothing we can do here. You can walk into the flames if you want, but the only two things you can do is Firstly, pick up this using E. Now, this gives you the location of this cave, which is um, a good place to set up your initial base. And you can identify where it is by this uh, big rock formation here and these bones. It's not hard to find, you just go straight up the beach. And the second thing, probably the most important thing, is here. If you go into the chest, now we are on normal assumptions. So we get to pick two items. If you're on harder modes, um, you get one or zero. If you're on easier modes, you get more than two. So you have to make a decision on what to take here. I think um, backpack is probably just right mouse click to move it over or you can drag it over. And then it's just a question of um, the second one. Now there are very good arguments for the navy coat um, because it has a use early in the game, but it also has a use in the mid-game when you start going to different regions. The iron flint, not so valuable. Um, now these three here, um, good case for all of them, especially the iron axe because you end up chopping down a lot of stuff early on, but I'm just going to go the spear. Um, now I'm not going to go navy coat, um, even though it is a good choice because it changes some of the decisions and things you do in the early game. Whereas if you choose any one of the knife, axe or spear, then um, you have to go through a, a number of uh, steps, which we will do. So done. Up to the window and E to activate. And then you just confirm that you're happy with the two things that you've taken and go. So then you get this other cutscene. I'm just going to press and hold S and skip it. But if you haven't played before, it's, it's worth following along with the story because it's quite a good one. And then we wake up on the beach and the game begins proper. So a couple of things of note here. You see in the top left hand corner, you've got a picture of that sun there. Well, that's your exposure, I guess, to UV and how close you are to getting a uh, sunburn. So all we're going to do is just run around and pick up some loose objects off the floor here. I'm going to ignore the crabs for now. We've got a plan for them later. So you've got a green coconut here. They give you water. I'm just going to grab this here. So you see that bar in the top left slowly filling up there? We don't want that to get full, ideally. Now, if we go into the shade, um, then we get out of the sun. And something we want to do here, just make sure you're in the shade when you do this, is just go E. And then you can press F to take all here, and then just harvest down here, which you use as um, space bar or the mouse. So we go tab and go to crafting. And if you look at the clothing icon here, you can see that we can make a leaf cape, which takes five of the narrow leaves. Some we picked up off the ground and we just got some from the tree there. Now, chance of injury, 1%, that's pretty small and it takes 20 minutes to craft. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, that increases our sun protection. So if you go to tab again, you can see that our sun protection, which was zero, is now 25%. So we've got sun protection there. Now, let's just drop everything, right mouse click, we don't need to be carrying it around, we can pick it up at our leisure, and then just head off down the beach. You can see in the bottom left there, you've got four things, the heart is your health, 
And the thing with the um, piece of meat on, that's your hunker. Next one along, thirst. And next one along is your energy. So again, ignoring the crabs. We'll deal with them later. Time being, just um, go along the beach here, pick up everything you see. And once you come to here, you'll see that there's some food in there. It's just left mouse click, space bar to eat it straight away. There's no need to keep it. There is food in the ocean here. And I'm going to skip that today. We don't necessarily need it. You could also pick up these and make food straight away, but they have a reasonably high percentage chance of indigestion. So I tend not to do that, but left mouse click, just eat it straight away again. Keep picking up the sticks that we see. Another leaf, another stick. Ignore the crab. And then we come across this big boulder here. Which we have plans for. But there is another chest here with a bit more food in. So do the same thing as before. Left mouse click, just eat it straight away. We don't need to keep that. So I'm just going up here to make sure that we're in the shade. And uh, we're going to do a couple of things. Firstly, uh, tab. And then you just left mouse click on this massive stone here. And... You just go blueprints and it tells you tells you on the left here what you can do with the um, massive stone. And we want to make some stones here. It tells us here it's going to give us four stones. So let's do that. So let's go escape, tab again, and same routine. Left mouse click on the stones, hit the blueprints. And it tells us what we can do with these stones. <clears throat> or rather the... Um, the recipes that require a stone. Now we want to do two things, that is make a stone axe. Now we did pick up some sticks, so let's do one of those. And you see a chance of injury 1%, because it is daytime, that increases significantly at night time. And we made um, a stone cutter as well, so we made those two things. So making them in the shade, we did not get sunburned. Now we just want to jump over these rocks here. And head to your right. You'll see this plant here. It's worth picking up. It's tobacco. So let's do that. Then you just want to head around these rocks here. You should see another tobacco plant. Yeah, take that as well. And then what you should see ahead of you is this really big tree here. But the one behind it is the one we're interested in. That's the one with the kind of ropes around it there. So we've got some sun exposure, not a lot. There tends to be a snake around here, so... And that's an angry dog. It doesn't want us around. So I don't see the snake. You can hear the battle music. That just means that dog is close. So we're going to go E on here. Go F. Because we want this liana here and uh, the liana is used to make rope and you need rope for almost everything it's going to use up half of our stone eggs press harvest and that's our liana you want to hit up this plant as well because it has these um wide leaves here which we really want it takes four minutes we don't really need these um bird of paradise flowers but it doesn't take long uh, no, there's no tool usage so let's harvest that because it does help with um, our harvesting skill. Because there is a harvesting skill thing, which um, increases with the number of things you harvest. So anyway, you go up to this tree, press E, and it says required item rope. All right, so let's make sure that we are in the shade, which we are currently not. All right, now we're in the shade. So go to the liana blueprints, and you can see we can make rope with one liana and one narrow leaf craft. Now we go up to the tree again, press E, and it adds this um, this ladder here, which we can now climb up. Just watching our sun exposure in the top left there. So all we're up here for at the moment, we don't have any charcoal, um, which we could use for mapping. So if you go M and go mapping, it tells you that we don't have any suitable we don't have a suitable mapping tool. So we'll do this later. But all we're up here for today is just these things. We 
It's kind of random how many it gives you, but we want six or more. So we got six there. And we did it in the sun, so we did get some sun exposure. But we're not halfway. That bar isn't halfway yet, so we're good. If we do get sunburn, we can cure it, but um, it's convenient if we don't get it. I'm just going to press E on this to pick it up. Contributes to our gathering skill. Ditto here. And ditto here. All right, now these trees here, um, just see if we can do this in the shade. Yes, we can. They give us long sticks, so just E, F, take all, and go harvest. That uses up 15 of our stone axe there. And we did it in the shade, so we should be okay. And this one. So this is use well, this uses up a further 15. And we see it's starting to get to the end of the day now. So there's no sun at this time of day, I don't think. So we can't I'm gonna right mouse click, sorry, left mouse click adds one, two, and that uses up our stone axe completely harvest and done. So there are like 20, 25 things we need to do at the start of this game. We've done a few of them, but um, you can't do everything you want to do in the first day. So what I'm just going to do is go and get some sticks. There's some sage here. We're just going to grab some of that as well. It doesn't weigh very much. So this plant here is called Ocotillo, and we get sticks from this. So you go E, F, and we can get 10 sticks. There's no tool usage. And only takes 10 minutes. And there you go, our gathering skill just went up by one. So E, F, take that. The E, F, take that. E, F, take that. Alright, now let's go find the cave because it is getting dark. But let's just check. We need five of these narrow leaves here to make a bed because we do want to sleep. Anything you do in the night time, we saw that um, a lot of what we were doing had a 1%. Actually, what is our weight? 40 out of 40, yikes. I'm surprised we're not being slowed down. There is a dog over there. What's heavy? It's the uh, long sticks, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can hear that kind of chatter or barking from the dog there. He's just over there. So if we pick up this, we're overweight, right? 40.5 out of 44, okay. So there are two other skills, and that is athletics and strength. So I've got that icon in the top left there telling me that I'm heavy. Which slows you down, but we can live with that. But anyway, you just head up the beach here if you want to get to the cave. We'll just leave these things here given that we are weight challenged right now. So moving around with heavy weights like this um, increases your strength, especially if you're sprinting. Occasionally you'll see it flash up at the bottom there. You get a plus 15 contribution to your strength skill. But we're also getting athletics here. Now, as our strength increases, then as will the amount of weight that we can carry. So it's worth getting that up. Just run everywhere. And if you're carrying heavy weights, you're carrying heavy weights. And around this corner, we will find our Cave, and there she is. All right, now we, if we go to crafting and then we go to buildings here, we can see that we can make a box made of branches and it only takes four sticks to make. Now, the problem here is that um, you go E to place, E interaction, space bar, place resources. Now your chance of injury is up to 21%. So we're going to do that in the morning. If you do it during the day, um, I'm going to go EF on this and then spacebar. You get used to this EF space spacebar. It just takes everything we need there. And we're going to sleep because if you go tab and you look down here, you can see that we're kind of into the night there. So we're just going to sleep, get to the morning so that we can do things with the lower chance of injury. So let's go to crafting. Well, actually, um, 
tab, just go narrow leaves, go blueprints, and then you'll find a, a simple bed there. Just look down. Portable leaf bed, not that one. There you go. Primitive bed of leaves place. So you want to place it around here. It's out the rain, but it's also out of the middle of the cave because there are scorpions back there. And if you kill them, um, they keep respawning. So you want to get away from the respawning um, scorpions there. So E, place resources, and it's 30 minutes to make it, and you're not. There's no risk of injury here. And then uh, you just sleep. Go E. Now, six hours it tends to default to how long it takes to get to morning. And we don't fully get all our energy back. And there's no health gain here, which we don't really worry about for reasons we'll see uh, in the next episode. And then go sleep. So that's the first day. So um, now what we can do is we can go E, build. And we can do that without the risk of injury that we had before dump off a bunch of stuff here and see what we do next so that's the very start of the game as mentioned there are like 25 things we need to do which kind of marks the end of the very start i mean all we've really done at the moment is find our way to this cave picked up a bunch of resources which we know that we need uh, made a simple bed and now it's time to move on to the other 20 things that we need to do as part of the start of this game so what I'll do is I'm going to end the episode here and then um, start another episode where we'll start knocking things off over the next couple of days. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.